Hello everyone. In today's session, let us discuss about missionaries and the cannibals problem. And in this, let us see how to formulate the state, state space tree with the help of state space search. So first, let us see what is meant by a state space search. Okay. So state space search is nothing but it's a method of problem representation that facilitates the easy search. It is used to find a path from start state to goal state while solving a problem. So here we will be given a uh, three kind of representation. So if you have studied uh, design and analysis of algorithms, there you might have seen the state space tree. So where you have a three kind of formulation starting with the root node, we reach on to the tail nodes, right? So in the same way, here we will be starting with the goal state and Sorry, we will be starting with the start state and we try to reach to the goal state. And in any state space search, totally four components will be there. The first one is the set of start states indicated with the letter capital S and then set of goal states indicated with letter capital G. Why we are saying set of goal states? There can be more than one goal state possible. And set of nodes followed by set of arcs connecting to the nodes. So this we can also call as an operator. Okay. So the set of nodes we are calling as the states, various states that we can move on to. So now how to obtain a solution given a state space search of the problem. Okay. So how can we obtain a solution? So here we start with the start state. And then you apply the heuristic. So here heuristic is nothing but the appropriate operator. This will be changing from problem to problem. Okay. So for a specific problem, what is the heuristic? You apply that and try to reach the goal state. So in this way, you can obtain the solution. And there can be more than one solution paths. You might think how this is possible. Let's see with an example. And also, if you see in general, in order to reach from one place to another place, there can be multiple paths, right? So multiple solutions are possible. Even in order to prepare for your exams also, you can study your whole syllabus in any order of your choice. Whichever you're convenient with, you will start with that unit and you will finish with the unit of your choice. So there can be more than one solution tasks and one solution path. Let us see the missionaries and cannibals problem. So here, let me first explain you the problem. So we have three missionaries and three cannibals. A boat is given. The task is these missionaries and the cannibals both have to cross this river with the help of this boat. And the condition is that only two person at a time can use this boat. With the help of this boat, they can travel. Okay. So, and constraint is the cannibals, these are the man-eaters. Cannibals are the man-eaters. So they should never outnumber the missionaries on any of the bank. What is meant by outnumbering? Their majority should not be there on any of the bank. Okay, so always we should see that the missionaries are more when are equal to the cannibals on either side of the banks in such a way they have to cross the river. Okay. So let us see how to formulate the state space search for this particular problem. And here the possible operators are the heuristics that are possible is. So only two people can travel at a time, right? With the help of the boat. So either two missionaries and zero cannibals can use the boat or zero missionary and two cannibals can use. Excuse me, with this one. It's not there. Okay. So zero missionaries and two cannibals can go on the other bank or one missionary and zero cannibals. At max, two people can go. So even one person goes also, no issue. Okay, zero missionaries, one cannibal can go or one missionary and one cannibal can go. Okay, so here M stands for missionaries, C for cannibals and the digits zero and zero, one to whatever you are seeing. So those are the number of missionaries and the cannibals. So these are the operators that we will be applying. Okay. So now for simplicity, to know whether they are moving from the left bank to the right bank or from right to the left. So we use the arrow operators. Okay. So if this arrow head is towards the right, so that means the boat is on the left. 
left bank and they are moving towards the right bank. And similarly, if we use, if the arrowhead is towards the left, that means the boat is on the right bank and they are trying to move to the left bank. So this arrow indicates the direction of this travel. And here the start state is, we start with three missionaries, three cannibals and one boat. Okay. So initially on the other bank, what will be the status? There are no persons on the other bank. So zero missionary, zero cannibal and zero boat. The boat is on the left side bank. So we start with this initial configuration. Okay. So this in short, we will represent as 331. So the letters we just skip, we maintain the same order. The first number is for the missionary, second number is for the cannibal and the third number is for the boat. The goal state should be all the missionaries and cannibals should reach the other bank. So on the right hand side, three missionary, three cannibals along with the one boat, they should reach. On the left hand side, nobody should be left over. So this configuration can be indicated like this. Okay. So now let us see what are the illegal states or the invalid states possible. Okay. So if you see one missionary, two cannibal and one boat. So here, what is the operator that is chosen? Okay. So one missionary and zero cannibals are on the boat. So then what will happen? So here, if you see on the left side bank, two cannibals are there. Cannibals are outnumbering the missionaries. So they will eat off the... These two cannibals will eat of this missionary. So this should not happen. And similarly, if you see the status on the other bank. Okay. So here we have two missionaries and one cannibal. Okay. Here it is not outnumbered. Okay. But there is no boat. If the boat is not there, they cannot travel to the other side and get the other person. Okay. So at any time, one person should go with the boat. He should leave or again he can return with the boat to take the other people. Okay, so only one boat is there. So these are the invalid state, illegal states. Suppose if you have a valid state, zero missionary and one cannibal or zero missionary, two cannibals, even this would be illegal. Okay, so we will see shortly why this is illegal. And then there can be a looping situation. So that means... If you are applying the same operator on the both the ways, suppose if I take this operator, zero missionary, one cannibal. Okay. So he will take the boat. The cannibal will take the boat. Again, what he has to do? Again, he has to get back the boat itself. So if you are applying the same operator on both the sides, so again, he will reach back to the same state. So this condition we will call as a looping state and this is a waste of time. So we always try to avoid this kind of situations and these offers, these sort of operators we try to avoid. So now let us start with the initial configuration. Three missionaries, three cannibals and one boat. Okay. So let us choose the first operator. I'm choosing the first operator as one missionary, one cannibal. Yes, it is a valid one because two people can travel with the help of the boat. And if this is the configuration, on the left-hand side, what will be the status? I will be having two missionaries and one cannibal left. Okay, so here cannibals are not outnumbering the missionaries. So missionaries are safe. So this operator I can choose. Okay, the other operator that we can choose is zero missionary and two cannibals. Okay, so two cannibals are going so that one will be dropped on the other side. Okay, so on the left hand side bank also if you see all the missionaries are there. Missionaries are only a majority compared to the cannibals. So missionaries are safe. The other operator that we can choose is one missionary and one cannibal. Okay, so if this is the configuration. Okay, so one missionary and one cannibal has gone. So on the left hand side bank, so this is the status. Two missionaries, two cannibals and zero boat. So on the right, this missionary and cannibal will be along with the boat. If we choose zero, uh, the operator as zero and two C. So then three missionaries are there on the left side bank and one cannibal and zero boat. So on the right side, zero missionaries will reach two cannibals along with one boat will reach. So here, 
for it. The operator is zero missionaries and one cannibal. Okay. So zero missionaries and one cannibal. So all the three missionaries are there on the left side back and one cannibal has moved to the right back and zero port. So on the right hand side, this is the configuration. So now let us choose the next operator, one missionary and zero cannibal. So then one missionary. So the missionary is getting back. So if you see the direction of the arrow from the right side bank, they are moving towards the left. So who has taken the role of taking back the boat is the missionary. Okay. So he has left this cannibal here itself. Okay. So cannibal is here only. Missionary is going back. So on the other bank, two plus one, three. Okay, so boat has reached. So this is the result. Then similarly, if you see this one, the operator that we are choosing is zero missionary and one cannibal. So here the cannibal is taking back the boat. So the resultant configuration will be three. One cannibal is been added to and boat is been added. So one on the left side back, it will be zero, one, zero. Next, the next operator that we are choosing is 0M, 1C. So then the resultant is 3, 3, 1. So the cannibal is taking back the boat. So again, it is 3, 3, 1, triple 0. So purposefully, I have chosen this operator to show you the looping condition. So here, what is happening? Again, we have reached to the initial state. That is 3, 3, 1, triple 0. Okay, so which is a waste of time. Again, we are reaching to a looping state. So we need not further extend this particular path. We will stop extending this. Next. So let us choose the next operator. So here we are choosing 0 and 2 cannibal and the moving towards the right. So then the resultant will be on the left side bank, it is 3, 0, 0. On the right, it will be 0, 3, 1. And if we choose zero missionary and one cannibal, okay, so from the left side configuration, we have to choose the operator. And always we should see that whether the missionaries are safe or not, whether the cannibals are not outnumbering the missionaries or not. That is what we should see always, okay. So here if you see missionaries are more, okay. So here only cannibals are there. So no problem. The missionaries are safe. Similarly, if we choose this particular operator, so this is the resultant state. Here, missionaries are more compared to the cannibals. So they are safe. And here only cannibals are there. Okay, there is no missionary to eat. So this is the safe configuration. Next, let us take the next operator, 0M1C. So then this is the resultant state. Then the next operator, 2M0C towards the right. And then we are selecting 0M2C towards the left here. So this is the resultant state if you select 2M0C. And this is the resultant state if you are selecting 0M2C towards the left. Okay. So again, this has given us a looping state. Why again we have reached to the initial state. So this is again a loop. So you need not extend this also further. Next, let us choose the next operator, 1M1C towards the left. Okay, so the configuration or the state that we have is 2 to equal number of missionaries and cannibals. On the right also equal number of missionaries and cannibals. So, safe state. Next, let us choose the next operator, 2M0C. We are sending all the missionaries to the other bank. So, then this is the resultant state. Then the next operator that we chose is 0M1C. Okay. So then this is the resultant state. Next, the next operator that we are choosing is 0M2C moving towards the right. We are sending two cannibals to the other side. Okay. So this is the resultant state. Next. So the cannibal only is coming back, 0M1C. So then he will get back the board. So on the right side bank, we have 
two cannibals and with this and one more operator that is possible is 1m0 so even the missionary can go to the other side okay so in that case we'll have equal number of missionaries and cannibals so it is the same one so then this is the resultant state so from here the next operator that we can choose is 0m2c all the two cannibals will come to the other side so that we are reaching to the goal state so here we have reached the goal so this is one possibility and let us see the other possibility also the other possibility is 1 and 1 c okay so here we have one missionary and one cannibal both of them go to the other side so again we are reaching to the goal state so we have two goals so this is one and this is one and if you see we have two paths so how to get the solution we have to start with the start state okay so move in this direction come like this So just follow this particular path. So if you follow this particular path, so you can see two solutions we have obtained. So this is what we have seen. We can have more than one goal state also. Okay, so there can be more than one solution. Two solutions we obtained in this particular path. Again, if you extend this particular one, you might get as well some other goal state also i'm leaving this for you as an exercise okay so if you are moving to a looping state you can just avoid it okay and then if you are if it is an illegal state move that also you can avoid okay so you just verify this for yourself hope you have enjoyed and for the solution you should just give the list of all operators in sequence so that will give you the result hope you enjoyed so if you like the concept, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to comment also whether it is helping you or not. If you need any other topic also, you can please let me know in the chat section. Thank you.